Hello Libra, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a general reading for you. Um, messages that you're needing to hear right now and fair warning, I am going to be trying to keep these pretty short. So these are going to be quick messages that you're needing to hear right now. Just a mini reading for Libra. And yeah, let's see what you're needing to hear. What messages do we have for Libra? What messages do we have for Libra? Uh, movement. Things are starting to move forward. You are in control of the reins. Yeah, you're you're leading the show here. You're making the movement. You're deciding where you're going next. Okay, you're making changes right now. Your reality is changing. Okay, show me more for Libra. What messages do we have for Libra? Compassion. Have compassion for yourself and those around you. Honor your sensitivity. Okay, needing to connect with your heart chakra. Could be going through heart chakra activations as well. Things could be making you feel more emotional than usual. You're feeling more sensitive than usual. Okay, um, allow that to happen. Okay, show me more for Libra. Initiation. You have shamanic power within you. A rite of in initiation is taking place. Okay, yeah, you're exactly. You're you're making some sort of move or change in your life right now. You're being called in a certain direction. Um, but it's important that through this process, again, you have compassion for yourself. You have compassion for others. You give yourself credit where credit is due. And you love yourself. That's what I want to say here. Love yourself through it all. You give yourself some, cut yourself into some slack or something. You could be um, needing to... Um, appreciate yourself a little extra right now. Okay, some sort of self-care might be beneficial for you. Um, but things are starting to move forward. So you're starting to experience something's moving you in a certain direction. You're being called in a certain direction. Okay. You show me more for Libra. Ten of Cups. Wow. Yeah, you're being pushed towards something that's going to make you very, very happy. Something that's going to um, be lasting long term, I want to say. You're, be you're being pushed towards your fulfillment. You could you could have an idea of what you want. Like there's something, like you have an idea of what um, your happiness looks like or what you want for your future or something like that. Or you have some sort of idea of what you want next or what you want to move towards. Um, the message is, it is going to make you very, very happy. Follow your intuition at this time and keep going in the direction that your heart is calling you to go in. So it could really benefit you from, for doing, um, if you were going to do some heart chakra work, meditations, um, clearings, any kind of heart chakra um, stuff right now might be really beneficial for you. I keep looking at the green tara right here and it, it's making me think of green tea. Green tea might be something that benefits you, will benefit you, can benefit you, something you could be drinking it quite a bit or something. Um, yeah, you're being called to a spiritual awakening, but it's there's some sort of something that you desire within you or something you know you have love for or someone that you know you have love for that's helping, it's pushing you in the right direction because you're listening to your heart. Or you should be. Okay, show me more, please, for Libra. There could be a certain relationship that you're moving into or that's moving forward. Yeah, look at that, Two of Cups, yeah. You, um, okay, you could be going into union. That's what I want to say. You could be going into some sort of really divine connection, really loving relationship. Lots and lots of love here. Okay, you need to have compassion for this other person or or for yourself when connecting with this person. Um, okay. Yeah, things are moving towards a long-term, I want to say long-term relationship, or something that's long-term happiness. This even could be a business partnership, but with all the cups, it really, it's very emotionally tied. There's a lot of emotions involved here. So this is someone that you're going to be married to or living with or have some sort of long-standing connection with. Okay, show me more. So Libra, you're being called in the direction of this relationship. 
okay? And we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, so you could be feeling uh, really sensitive or emotional right now. Your um, ego is being torn down. You could be having a lot of heart chakra activations. There could be a lot of things that are triggering you emotionally right now. Um, it's because you're being initiated. It's because you're being called in a certain direction. It's because you're going through spiritual awakening. So it's like your, a level of your ego is dying. Um, yeah, keep pushing through this. So when you're feeling um, high levels of emotion or feeling extra sensitive, you know, let yourself feel it, analyze it, kind of separate yourself from it so that you can analyze it properly. Um, try to understand why you're feeling a certain way. Give yourself love and care for yourself in those times. Do something to raise your vibration when you're feeling that way. But kind of try to take it easy when you're feeling really sensitive or something. It's because you're going into some like really divine connection or something like that. Something that it's really divine for you. Something that's going to be bringing you ultimate long-term happiness. And it's like you're moving into that, but there's things that need to happen first. So things need to be torn down within you first. Your heart chakra needs to be open, activated, ready to go for you to properly connect with this um, divine counterpart. This could be a soulmate or a twin flame that you're being called into union with. You're being pulled and pushed into union with. Okay, show me more for Libra, please. What other messages do we have for Libra? What else are we needing to say to Libra? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, yeah, you're gonna have major happiness with this person, major legacy you know, family, there's some sort of major fulfillment with this person emotionally and physically, um, with manifestations, abundance, something that's very exciting for you, something that's, something you're, <laughs> these are the two, like, some of the best cards here, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, like, these are, this is like the, this is the goal, this is the goal that everyone is working towards in everyday life, you know, this ultimate happiness, ultimate success, type energy that you're being pushed into. You could be being pushed into a really successful relationship and also a really successful work life, career life, financial life, financial stability. Okay, beautiful. Okay, show me more. What other messages we have for Libra? Wow. Wheel of Fortune. This is destiny. This is destiny that you're connecting with this person or this thing, this craft, this even ability. This even could, could be an ability that you're connecting with as well. So many tens here. This is like there's you're on the verge of a huge change is what I want to say. A big shift in your life. Something is going to be changing your life is what I want to say. Something you've waited for this or you've worked for this. It's taken time. Also, you were destined to be with this person, destined to connect with this person, destined to meet this person, destined to be in union with this person. Okay, please show me more messages for Libra. Two of Swords. Okay, yes. So, but something is, something is blocking mental clarity is what I want to say. Um, and it's the emotions that are coming up or it's the feelings that someone is getting, someone's purging, someone's... Someone's going through a lot of energetic activations and a lot of ener energetic things are going on within someone. It's kind of confusing someone mentally. It's making someone have one opinion one second and another opinion another second. So it's making someone go back and forth kind of because of feelings of lack of clarity. But there's actually a lot of clarity here. Like with the eclipse, there's a lot of clarity here. It's just you need to shift your position. That's that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm that's what I'm feeling. So, hmm. Show me more about this Two of Swords, please. You can't see it coming. Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, so we have the Eight of Cups and then we have the Star. So healing from some sort of loss or breakup or um, walking away from something. You also could be feeling like that purging energy where you're releasing like low vibrational things. That could be causing a lot of emotions to come up as well. Um, there also could be something about... There's something you don't see about a breakup um, and about the healing in regards to a breakup. This could be you. This could also be your divine counterpart, I want to say, too. There could be something... The divine counterpart that you're going to be connecting with is going through a breakup. They're healing from the breakup. Healing is needing to be done about a breakup or about walking away from something someone could have moved or have falling out with a family member or a friend or something where there was a big change in someone's life and someone had to walk away from something that they decided was not serving them or it could have been the other person as well. But either way, someone was walking away from something that did not serve them. This healing is needed to help illuminate clarity, help 
to help someone receive clarity on where they're going next. Yeah, but someone's being initiated. Someone's being pushed into this. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's get one more message from this deck for you. do we have for Libra? What other messages do we have for Libra? What does Libra need to know about? What do I need to say to Libra for the most high vibrational timeline possible? Letting go. It's time to let go of which no longer, which is no longer serving you. Yeah. You're walking away from the mindsets, the people, Whatever it is that isn't serving you so that you can start moving towards your ultimate happiness. What you're, you were destined to move towards in the first place this whole time. Okay, show me more for Libra. What else are we needing to say to Libra? Um, check your self-love too. You know, check, check on yourself on how, how much you're giving yourself unconditional love no matter what you've done in the past, no matter what you're doing now, no matter what you have now, what you don't have now, no matter what has happened, whatever you've done or whatever has happened to you, it's time to release and forgive yourself for that. Forgive your experience for whatever you've gone through. Release that. Love yourself no matter what you've done, no matter what you've been through. Love yourself through it all. That's what I want to say to you. Okay, show me more. Acceptance. Learn to love and accept yourself for who you are at this moment. <laughs> wow, that's really beautiful, Libra. Accept yourself for exactly who you are. Appreciate every single thing you've gone through, no matter how difficult it was. Because it, it, it's who, it made you who you are. You know, everything is making you who you are. Everything is a learning experience. There's purpose in everything. Anything that you've ever done. I'm kind of feeling there's some Libras that are kind of guilty about something. They feel bad that they've done something just let that go forgive yourself love yourself anyway let it all go accept yourself wow that was pretty cool libra all right any other messages for libra any other messages that libra's needing to hear right now inner wisdom there is wisdom deep within your soul trust the feelings that you get that's beautiful Speaks for itself. Trust your intuition right now. Trust trust what you're feeling. Trust the direction that you're being pulled in, pushed in, whatever it may be. Of what you know, trust what you know, even if you don't have proof of what you know. You know what you know for a reason. And we have sacred partnership here on the bottom as well. Form sacred relationships that are su that support your growth. Okay. Yeah. So there could be also someone who's left um, friends or left people that didn't, they weren't serving them anymore. They weren't benefiting you. They weren't helping you grow in a positive direction. They were holding you back from doing that. So, um, there could have been a need to release those people or, or to identify those people in your life so that you can take a step back and distance yourself, or at least try not to take the opinions of those people, um, so strongly. Um, but yeah, okay, Libra, I really hope that if this resonated with you, this provided you with guidance and clarity on your situation, whatever you're going through. Lots and lots of love to you as you go through it. If you'd like a personal reading, you can book one with me on my website, linked in the description. Also, any other information that you're needing or wanting will also be in the description. So yeah, thank you again so much, Libra. Lots and lots of love to you. And remember to keep loving yourself. <laughs> extra, extra right now. That's what you need. Okay. Bye, Libra.